I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Eight of Swords ends with the Page of Swords. So the Eight of Swords, the card that's above the word pass, this is indicating that you you were holding yourself back from move. You were holding yourself back and you felt like you no longer wanted to move forward with this person. Yeah. You could have, but you just didn't. You held back. You could have been afraid of getting hurt by the situation. And because this was the Page of Swords, this person could have been uh, reaching out to you a lot. The Page of Swords, the card that's below the word pass, it can be an immature energy that brings conflict. Um, it could have been, you could have been dealing with someone that was a drama king or a drama queen. And um, this person was on the immature side. Yeah, you, I don't think you knew this when you first met them, but they started to show their true colors. Conflict is what the Page of Swords brings, reaches out with messages. You could start, you could have started to feel like this person was stepping on your toes. Uh, just doing things you didn't appreciate. Now, whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that could indicate a student, youth, immaturity, or just maybe someone who's a lot younger than you. Could be by, could be younger by you, by a few days, a few months, a few years. Maybe even a few decades. Some of you could be dealing with a child. Yeah, and you just realized you needed to um Yeah, you held yourself back. Eight of Swords. You didn't want to go towards this connection or this person. But let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Ten of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, the card that's below the word present, um, could be a message bearer. So this person could be reaching out to you if the two of you are um, not together or if there's no contact. Yeah, they'll be reaching out to you. Um, Trying to be more stable and civilized. And that Pentacles is actually a really good card in the tarot. Um, they could be wanting something more serious. They could be wanting something more solid and stable. Steady. Practical. It's a good energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles can be a message bearer. So here they come. If there's been no communication, they'll, this person will be reaching out. But the Ten of Cups is here. You could be feeling like it's a little, it's, what do, you, what do they say? Too much, too little, too late. You could have found your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is everything. A happy life, happy wife, happy kids, happy family. You could have... You could be, or you could have met your, your happy situation. You could be doing just well without this person. You could be having it all. Ten of Cups is beautiful. Everyone wants a Ten of Cups in a reading. So things could be going really well for you coming up. But here they come. Um. They could be wanting some, like I said, wanting something more solid and stable, wanting commitment this time. Um, but the thing is, it's a night and it moves slow. So that's why I said too much, too little, too late. 
You've gone on to your Ten of Cups. You've gone on to a happy life. Or that's where you're trying to go. Or that's where you're trying to be. With the Ten of Cups. Could be someone or it could be a situation. Or just your life. So we move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We've got the Four of Swords. Ends with the Four of Cups. So... Four of Cups, the card that's below the word challenge. Like I said, this person could be reaching out to you. Nine of Pentacles. Um, for some for some of you um, Capricorns, you're dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo. And for some of you, you're dealing with your same sign, a Capricorn. Four of Cups, the card below the word challenge. It's... It means that you're not accepting what they're offering. Yeah, the Four of Cups does not accept their offer. And it looks like with the Four of Swords here, the card above the word challenge, you're just, you could be in a phase where you just want to heal. You, you just want to heal from everything you've been through with this person. Four of Swords can be about healing. It can be about rest after struggle. Or this could be a person. They want to heal from this. From you not accepting what they're offering. It could have been really challenging for this person to reach out to you. So now they need to heal from. From this. This failure of an attempt. So we move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Page of Pentacles and it's with the Tower. Page of Pentacles can be about boredom in some ways. Page of Pentacles is the card above the word outcome. Um, you feel like you're over this or you just, you're no longer interested. You're just bored with the whole situation. And you just, yeah, you've you've lost interest, and the tower card is here. Yeah, your person could be shocked that you didn't accept their offer because the tower is here. I'm getting, I'm getting they were shocked, and they feel it's just falling apart. And you're over this. The page of pentacles is just bored. You feel like there's no luster or no, you're not excited about it anymore. So Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It'll all pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people. They can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.